Thank you for the nice introduction. Um, and I thank all the organizers at Nanopore for giving this uh, great opportunity to talk at London Calling. Uh, our main goal for this study um, is to come up with a new colon cancer biomarker uh, that could potentially be used in the clinics. Um, so we have teamed up with hospitals in Korea to obtain um, colon cancer tissues as well as uh, the normal tissues from the patients uh, and perform the cDNA PCR nanopore sequencing using grid ion. Um, potential biomarkers that we attempted to discover included um, isoforms, link RNA, and fusion genes. And we haven't uh, got to fully validate our results yet, but we hope to develop our findings in the clinic soon. So today we'd like to show some of the um, potential diagnostic findings in colon cancer. Uh, for the quality of the data that we generated is shown as such. Uh, for about 23, uh, 23 mostly paired normal and tumor samples, uh, we have generated about 3 million reads uh, in average, and also uh, average length of uh, 800 base pairs. Um, and uh, for all of our data sets, we filtered out the reads that have uh, quality lower than 5, and also the reads that have shorter than 200 base pairs. And um, we have attempted to define some novel isoforms using Squanti, um, and we have profiled the reads for all of the samples into these structural categories. And for the isoform analysis, we specifically focused on reads that are annotated as novel in catalog and novel not in catalog. And from these isoform annotated reads, we were able to find some uh, tumor-specific isoforms, uh, which are, were mostly found in the tumor samples and we listed the top 10 uh, most abundant tumor-specific isoforms uh, by gene annotation. And we can see that uh, the most of uh, isoform candidates uh, were only found in the tumor samples. And here in one of the paired samples, uh, we could see one of the differentially expressed isoform as an example specific to the tumor. Um, next, we extract the differentially expressed gene annotated as uh, non-coding RNA and uh, we clustered the samples using these genes, and their division was clear between the normal and the tumor. Uh, although we could see the clear differentia uh, differ differential pattern between the groups in nanopore, uh, the Illumina non-coding RNA expression seemed to be underestimated. So here showing uh, the example of one of the tumor-specific non-coding RNA, uh, and in this case uh, annotated as long non-coding RNA, uh, which we could possibly be, uh, which could be possibly the um, diagnostic marker uh, candidate um, that is in the non-coding region. And uh, lastly, we have attempted to detect some fusion genes by implementing the idea uh, of isoseq fusion detection algorithm. Um, a number of fusion uh, that came from each group was shown here. And one of the paired samples results shown in a circus plot as well. And although we were able to see some of the um, fusion gene candidates, um, the majority of targets at, at this point were found to be um, uh, multi-copy genes. And so at the moment, we want to further validate our uh, targets to be clinically valid, uh, relevant. Um, though we pulled all the fusion results from both Nanopore and the Illumina, uh, the overlap was quite low. Uh, meaning it is possible that there are fusion genes that can, be, uh, that can only be found in the nanopore sequencing. Thank you for your attention.